Next one, 3 into 1 minus x less than 2 into x plus 4. So, when we open what we get, 3 minus 3x less than 2x plus 8. Collect x terms to 1 side minus 3x minus 2x less than 8 minus 3. So, we are getting minus 5x less than 5. So, we have to take negative 5 to the right side. So, what happens to the inequality? It gets reversed giving you x greater than 5 by minus 5. So, what does, what does it imply? x greater than minus 1. So, we have to represent this in graph. Isn't it? So, what we will do? We will draw a number line. To the middle, we will mark 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. And to the left, we will mark minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, etc. x greater than minus 1, greater than means to the right side. It is minus 1, greater than, equal to is not there. So, what we have to do? We have to put a hole there in minus 1. Greater than means mark you towards the right. Less than means mark towards the left. And greater than means mark towards the right. So, shade the number line to the right of minus 1. And avoid minus 1 by showing a hole there on the point minus 1. Okay, so this is how we will represent x greater than minus 1. Okay, moving to the next one. x by 2 less than 5x minus 2 by 3 minus 7x minus 3 by 5. So first we have to solve it, isn't it? So x by 2 less than, I have to multiply 5x minus 2 with the 5. So what I get is 25x minus 10 and a 7x minus 3 with the negative is there, a 3 is there. So, minus 3 into 7x gives you minus 21x. Negative is there, 3 is there. Into minus 3 gives you plus 9. Divided by 5 into 3 gives you 15. Which implies x by 2 less than 25x minus 21x is 4x minus 1 by 15. Again, if I cross multiply, 15x less than 8x minus 2. So, collecting x terms to one side, what I get is x 7x. 15x minus 8x gives you 7x less than minus 2. That means x less than minus 2 by 7. Okay, minus 2 by 7 is a decimal value. If needed, you can calculate the decimal value. How much is 2 by 7? Just to find it, there's one decimal point. So, 2 by 7. So, first itself, it's a decimal. So, 0, 7, 2 is 14. 6 is there. 7, 7, 7 is 49. 7, 8 is 63. So, we will take only 7. So, 7... 7, 7 is 49. It, it goes on. Okay, we need only two decimal points. So, it is 0.27. So, we are getting x less than minus 0 0.27. Okay. Again, we have to represent in the graph. Draw a number line. Mark the middle as 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 like that. Towards the left, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, etc. So, First, you have to identify where it lies. Minus 0 0.27. Where means in between which two integers. Minus 0 0.27 lies in between which two integers. It's a number less than 0 and greater than minus 1. Isn't it? And it is it was 0 0.27 will be nearest to 0. Okay, if it was minus 0 0.72, we can be sure that it will be close to minus 1 since it is 2, 7, it will be nearer to 0. So, less than. So, we have to mark a hole there to show that it is, the LM, that number is not there. Again, less than. Which side we have to shade? Right or left? Left. Less than stands for left side. So, shade the real number line to show the solution. So, this represents the graph of this solution. X less than negative point zero. Sorry, negative 0.27, otherwise x less than minus 2 by 7.